Hello folks and welcome back to Chained Echoes. We're dealing with a very dangerous owl. Um, do we want to change this out a little bit? Don't make any differences here? I think this is probably the right formation. I don't think there's anything we want to do here. I mean, I'd love to have a sky armor, but we can't do it. So I think we're good. We just need to do something here. I don't know what it is. So Poison Shire, I think, is definitely the right call. I don't think he's weak to anything we can really do. We could probably cleanse. We cannot cleanse his act twice, though. So I think go ahead and trade out for Bethraws here so we can do a Metal Dagger. We definitely need to lower his attacks. And I think we're going to buff ourselves immediately here. I think... That the battle's gonna go on long enough, we'll probably get a second. Holy shit, dude. What the hell's with the one hit KOs? What the hell's with the one hit KOs? Alright. Um, let's armor break him here. Now we need to res, and that's just gonna cause more trouble. Throw one spear, he gets to go again, because he always gets to go again. Okay. With the Roz, go ahead and hit him with the. I don't know, something? Hit him with a dark spear. Then definitely heal everyone. The everyone that's standing anyway. A little better. Okay, then let's cross slash. We definitely need to change Rob out. Because when are you Sienna for sure? Okay, so we don't use Len here, right? Do we? I mean, we could make Len drop oil on him. That would give him fire weakness, and then we use fire. That wouldn't be terrible. I think go ahead and keep on using, like, a metal dagger here to hurt him. We'll do, like, one more summon. We should probably go ahead and raise Rob. Okay, I don't know if that's going to work necessarily, so let's go ahead and restrain. He's going to do some horrible damage to us here. Okay, he did first aid on himself. That's fine. Let's trade Rob out. And then make you bleed. Okay, then let's go ahead and heal just to be a safe side. The Thraws can now go ahead and do a summon attack. Okay, that was decent. That was decent. He's, uh, he's no longer weakened. Let's go ahead and weaken him. Okay. Okay, hopefully we can do something here. So, Drunken Master to get us basically down the drive track. Maybe also help us out. That did negate the Petal Storm, which I totally didn't even see there, but it's too late now. Okay. Heal all again. And now we need to restrain in order to keep us on the back foot here. Maybe armor break will work out too. Restrain works a little bit better for dropping us further down the overdrive track, but I think we've got to break his defense here so we do more damage. Okay, trade you out. And now we just go for regular attacks. We can't cleanse anything there, which is fine. This water thrust will do. Smack us around a little bit. Open a little bit. That's okay. Drunken Master. Oh no, we have Petal Storm though. This Petal Storm. Just a good chunk of damage right there. Then restrain. Um, we could use a heal. I'm tempted to go March, but we should heal. Back in overdrive. We can't steal anything from him, so defend. And defend. Overdrive there is very dangerous. So restrain, so we're back down again. Defend again. Heal everyone. We're back. We got another ultra. I don't think Lens is the one to do it. Uh, trading you doesn't really help me. Yeah, go ahead and just water thrust. Lens in danger. I don't know how to help with that Not right now. Okay, well, Glenn's down. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, we need to keep on defending. There's nothing. I guess we can use the Ultra. Actually, her Ultra might be the right thing to do. That'll deal a lot of damage. Okay, that was almost a thousand damage. He's still not downed. Alright, heal us up. Alright, definitely defend. I think you need to defend as well. He's got a defense buff as well, but we might be able to cleanse it. I think you defend. You cleanse that buff. Get rid of that defense buff. Okay, we dropped, he dropped the mind defense buff. That's good. Heal everyone. And then Kasigiri this guy. Okay, solid. Still bleeding a little bit, but also, ow. Damn it, I took down Victor. Without Victor, I think we're in some serious shit. He's bleeding for a little while longer. Couldn't do it. And we're gonna be able to throw a lot of damage at this guy, but I don't know what else we can do. Okay, so definitely use an item. Angel Wing on Victor, because we need Victor more at the Glen right now. Don't worry about that. Okay, good. First, okay, he's preparing first aid for himself. She's out of TP. Is always dangerous. She does go a lot. Okay, we use the sweet here on yourself. Need to buy more sweets. And then make him bleed again. Okay. And for you... I'm going to say trade out. Yeah, trade out. You got more health. So, Metal Dagger. Okay, we should definitely heal everyone. And he just heals it for up to 2,000. That's crazy. Petal Storm for sure, though. He keeps healing himself. I don't know how we're supposed to do this, though. We have to, like, silence him or something. Uh, sure. Do the Darker Iron. Now he's heavy. Takes more damage against Earth. Almost took down Sienna. Uh, we still got bleed on him. We could trade to Rob, though Rob's not in much better health. Yeah, but Rob's got poison, so maybe we trade over to Rob. So, poison shot. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Go ahead and heal. We need to raise Glenn so we can trade to Amalia. It needs to happen. Absolutely needs to happen. Trading to Len doesn't help me, does it? Mm, no, it doesn't. I'd like it to, but it doesn't. Okay, Rob. You're not in any danger of dropping right now, which is good. I think I want to paralyze you. Hopefully you getting your turn. Yeah, okay, you couldn't do anything that turn. That's great. So heal everyone. Maybe raise Len? I'm a little worried about everyone's health right now, but I think we gotta do it. Okay, Rob. He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna resist the next Paralyze, so that won't work. We could Explosion Trap, but I don't think that's gonna work either. I think he's going to just defend. Oh, he's still Paralyzed. Okay, he was still Paralyzed. That's great, that's great. I wasn't sure the Paralyze would last that long, but we didn't actually hit him, so I suppose it's fine. Alright, so go ahead and hit him. You should arms break him so he does less damage to us. Okay, then definitely heal us. What does your ultra do, Rob? Removes enemy resistances, which I don't think he has any right now. Yeah, mostly he's just got a lot of horrible stuff, so let's, let's throat cut him. I don't think he does much in the way of magic, though. I'm hoping that's what the AoE is. I don't think it is, though. Now, Whirlwind Spear is just a physical attack. It just hits everybody. And he defended himself. Okay, so we need to trade the lens so we can negate that. We're running out of TP as well. Go ahead and restrain. And we need to trade to you so we can negate his defense. Then Ultra, so we get some regen. I'd rather the heal, but... 
kind of suffering on TP right now, all the way around. Yeah, there we go. So everyone got TP back up. Okay, so trade to Sienna, I think, so we can get him to bleed again. He's still bleeding. Okay. Then go for some Kessier. Wow. Okay, nope. I didn't think about how low Sienna was, and I just did it, so that was bad. So let's go over to here, heal all, this is better, um, I guess we can go ahead and hit him with something, doesn't actually matter what. Okay. Heal all again, or raise, we should probably raise, but Sienna's a pretty hard hitter. Try to keep her up if we can. Okay, poke him. Whirlwind Spear, which doesn't actually take anybody out yet. Heal everyone up. Okay, we need to defend or trade out. Okay, let's trade out to Bethraz. Then Middle Dagger again. Oh, actually, do we have? We have three weapons summoned, so we can summon attack now. Oh, he's finally down. He's down. We did it. Huzzah. You've defeated me. What a disappointment I am. Sir Isaac would be ashamed. What are you talking about? You were outnumbered and still managed to hold us off for quite some time. You really are a knight of the dust blue, aren't you? No lowly lies would cross this beak. I've read countless books about the knights. Please, tell me your stories about Sir Isaac. Please. Now, hold on a minute. This is no time to gossip. We need to continue. But, but... I was like a little boy dreaming of knights. You've lost, but we'll let you live. Take us to your chief. What shame. Oh, whoa, but you do not really seem like the seedly seed of evil. So I shall lead you to the village Zelda of Zazova. Follow me to the north. That was easy. Alright, so we're going north, is what he said. Sure. Oh, we, except we got bad guys here. Uh, we could probably... And we can't really sneak past, can we? Okay, let's fight. The guys at least is going to be easier. I'm uh, sure. Poison shot the Sky Monkey. And they get punched for our trouble, I guess. Wow, they really don't like Rob. Okay. Um, and the arms break seems to work out here. Yeah, Rob's unfortunately got, like, no defenses either. Your weakness is dark. Uh, we can trade over Bethraz. Which would be a dark spear. See, so only Rob went down, so we can awaken him. So I have a feeling he's gonna get dropped immediately anyway here. Ah, we can try it. Let's try it out. How much health do you have, Rob? Okay, Rob didn't get targeted, which is great. Let's trade to Amaya so we can heal a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now, Rob, we're gonna maybe trade you out. We can do it like a power shot, though. Oh, that was power shot. I mean, Sienna's gonna do better here, I think, but Rob's okay-ish. Dark Spear again. Okay, the monkey's gotta be close. Uh, we could heal, but we don't really need to. Let's do Valley Rain Wet Sword when he gets TP boost. More tech points is very handy. Tukarang hits everybody. The monkey's still not down, so trade to Sienna. And let's make the monkey... Oh, the monkey's totally gonna die. So you go Yuri. Hit them both. Great. So monkey down. Definitely heal all, please. Because Victor could use it. Heal all here, too. So it's mostly just to heal him. Alright, you are weak to air. So we'll trade out. And hit you with an air attack. for Victor, which is fine. We'll make you bleed. So now I think we don't need Amalia anymore. I think we're good. So, Glenn, you're up. Go ahead and uh, just maybe do less damage. He's already bleeding, so that's a Yuri. Well, it did less damage than last time, but not by much. 
a wind thrust for sure. Definitely the heal all. Okay, Kessigiri again, I guess. Go for it. Oh, right. The whole reason why we didn't have Rob and Sienna on the same part before is because we need to do the Paralyze and then Sienna's shot. That's what I was missing out on. Okay, it doesn't matter for this fight, but that definitely hurt us in the previous fight. Alright, so we need to change the formation up. Totally forgot about that. I don't know why they do that to us. So we'll trade Rob to be behind Len, I guess. And then it's be Thraws and Sienna, which is not ideal, but I don't know what else we do. Yeah, like, Glenn and Sienna work well together, too. Yeah, we don't want to do anything there. I think it's fine. Anything down here? Nope. Anything up here? Oh, this way. This is the one. This is the one we need to connect to. Okay, so we go here. That would take us up, but there's another one we want to go. So I think, not this one, but there's another island down here with an object, I think. Oh, here we go. That was it. I almost missed it there. Yeah, we got some objects here. And a dude! I wonder if that's the guy who's on the island in the lake something thing? I can't... I can't get to him. I can't get to him. He's probably part of the Adventurer's Guild. Golden Breastplate. Sounds awesome. Can't jump down, either. So strange. Okay, hold on. So, equipment-wise, we have a gemstone jerkin right now. The golden breastplate is obviously better, but I think it might even be better for you. Drops your mind by two points. That's not terrible. We can work with that. And then you have the other player, right? You have the dragon mail. Your defense by a point, but maybe we can upgrade it. Okay, and then... The gemstone jerkin you were wearing can go to... Can you wear the gemstone jerkin? Oh, you totally can. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, that'll improve your chances immensely. You don't really need the strong suit, though. You're good. You, though... Yeah, you can't really do much. Like, the robust coat is... Worse for your mind stat, for sure. But with the phantom cloak that I think Victor was wearing is much better. Okay, that'll work. I just gotta trade some stuff around. No worries. No worries. Okay, we can't really do much with you, but okay, that, that's a little bit better now. I think we're, we're better off. How the heck did we get down to you? I mean, it's probably a sky armor thing. We just can't do it yet. Hello! And you won't talk to us. I'm um, so... There's no other way down. We can try going around again. And there's nothing here. There's no there's no down from here. So there's a secret way down this way, but I don't think there is. Okay, so I'll be able to get around you somehow. Doesn't look like there's any route around you. I'm just looking to see if there's any slopes we can see that we can maybe jump to, maybe. There's like an island or something that floats by, but I don't think there is. Well, dang. Not that one. Okay, the islands go around the same path here. You know the one we need to do, right? I think that's it. I think it's just the way north to the Elder. Yeah, okay, we've already done that island. And of course we jump from here to up here. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure out how to get to that guy later. There's definitely a way. It's gotta be Sky Armors. It could be we just can't use them right now for some reason. It's a whole land of birds. It's the Rito again. It's the Rito, just like in Breath of the Wild or Cheers of the Kingdom. Look, foreigners in Eggle's Eye. What is this flyleaf check thinking? Unbelievable. Crash wing boom. Now that is a big bird. Chief, what is the meaning of this eagle? Why do you bring outsiders? Well, I'm afraid I'm lost. His only job is to keep the village safe from outsiders. He's not even able to manage that. Rob's not happy. We're on a journey to a sanctuary located on Shambhala. Hmm. Shambhala belongs to the church, and entering is forbidden. We Sova are not unfriendly people. Please understand that. But we have an oath to obey. You surely can make an exception. I beg of you. Long ago, the church saved us from death when monsters attacked the village. Out of gratitude, we made an oath. We guard the land and obey their wishes. We've been doing so since then. 
Nothing is more important to the Sova than an oath. We are a people of honor. The church helped them a few hundred years back, and now every generation has to slay for them? What did they get themselves into? But now that you're here, nothing can be done. You are welcome to stay the night in our village, but at dawn you must leave. We had sent Egil to Dorber to be trained as a knight so that he can defend us. For the first time, we have some trespassers, and he fails immediately. Poor Egil. Good thing his parents are no longer alive. A disappointment such as him. Now shut your mouths. How can you even think to badmouth the Knight of the Dust Blue? It, it's all right. You don't have to say anything. Nothing is all right. You're even worse, Sir Egil. How can you let others talk to you like that? You are an honorable knight. I... I... I've had enough. Rob... Wow, he just left. Sorry about the loose mouth of some of our residents. I'll have a word with them. In the meantime, Egil, why don't you show our guest to a spare bedroom? The rooms are currently being properly prepared, and it will take a while since we hardly ever get guests. Feel free to take a look around. When you finish, return and talk to me. Okay, well there's some items that we can go ahead and um, appropriate. I wouldn't call it stealing, but we're, we're appropriating. I can't go that way. We're in debt to the church. Without them, this village would not exist. We're repaying them by mining for gems. There are quite a few mines here on Chambala. The fifth king, the fifth true king, the owl Luna Orbentus, is our guardian. His ever watchful eye is keeping us safe. Oh, good for you. You shouldn't go in there. We don't have any lights, and we've heard humans can't see in the dark. It's nice of them to block it off for us, but I'm kind of curious. I would like the chest up there. How in the world do we get up there? Um, even if we talk to him, that won't do it. I can't slide over that way. Maybe if we go around, maybe there's like a drop-off. Our people were divided thousands of years ago when Shambhala broke away from the Hikondria belt. I wonder if the other Sova have evolved as we have. Okay, here we go. That got us here. Got a Colossus Hide, or three Colossus Hides. You know, for people who can fly, there's a surprisingly amount of stairs. Maybe they just don't like to fly? Okay, that's where the king was. The ruins of Shambhala date back to the time of our founding fathers. But we Sova are not so fond of stone walls, so these buildings were never originally erected by us. Someone else must have built them. Maybe the church. Of all the wars in Eldria, the War of a Thousand Kingdoms is the most devastating. No country, no village, no matter of what size, could escape this war. The triggers were numerous, and not all of them were known to scholars. Mostly, there was a last drop that tipped a barrel, filled to the brim with years of strained relations to overflow. The war began among the First Empires in B-1248, Fifth Era, and had reached every corner of Eldria by B-1279. From B-1300 onward, coalitions increased as great alliances were formed. Some lasted, some decayed within a few years, leading to further conflicts. Shortly after B-1400, the war pushed towards its climax. The ancient empire of Gal Galtena began to use an unknown weapon that could destroy entire lands. Some claim it was a grimoire of unimaginable power. This led to several alliances against the Empire in the final phase of the war, the conflict of the two realms. Galtena with the unknown weapon, and his opponent, the rest of Eldria, engaged in bloody battle. It is said that at the end of the conflict, half of Eldria's population was annihilated. The losses on both sides were so great that a peace treaty was signed in B-1417. This ended both the war and the Fifth Era. Wow. The Grand Grimoire has been used before, then. Assuming that's what that was, but it seems very likely that they wouldn't have told us that unless that was true. I don't know why I looked around that side. We don't need to go down this way. I'm sure I'll run into random people's houses. What the hell could go wrong? Today we're having fried tokerberry for lunch. My favorite food. I like the wings the best. Huh. Birds eating other birds. I mean, I suppose it happens in the wild. This is the first time I've seen homes go up so, up so closely. Usually I keep my distance from the church. Hmm, fascinating. How do you not how do you manage to cut up your food without a beak? Oh, those little white stones in your mouth, do you? Oh, I can't go into the other room. It's like a drop down or something? I don't know, that's weird. It's okay, there's nothing in there. Okay, what about over up this way? Echo brought us the doll to the people from the surface. Only because of this, we now know there are other sofas out there. It's kind of sad we didn't pass that knowledge on ourselves. History is really important. 
So it is. Okay, so we can go up here. The feathers we wear as jewelry come from our ancestors. That way, they're always close to us. Don't feathers degrade, like, really quickly, though? That was a problem with, like, when there used to be quills, I thought that they used quills and they had to trade them out, because not only would the point uh, dissipate really fast, and you have to constantly shave. Okay, I can't go that way. You have to shave them down to get the point so you could write. Okay, I can't go that way either. Um, but the, the feathers themselves only lasted, like, a little while. I don't think there are any ancient quills around, but I could be wrong. Aren't you afraid of falling off? As far as I know, you can't fly. Well, if I had a sky armor, that'd be totally different. You're here? What a coincidence. You need anything? Yeah, you've seen through me. I'm actually following you. But thanks to your shopping sprees, I can pay my rent and keep my wife and children fed. Win-win situation, I guess. Okay, but do you have any deals for me? No, not yet. Sell you some stuff? All right, we got a lot of loot. Okay. Here you go. Something quits. Okay, that's a good chunk of change. Now we've got some deals unlocked. Well, we've got them unlocked, but not available yet. Okay, well, so much for that. Uh, what do you got? You got the power shard, which definitely would be an upgrade, but I'm betting we're going to find another one. A slingshot? It says it shoots arrows. I think we're both confused on what the word slingshot means. Uh, you can use the flint lock, which would be an upgrade for you, but you don't really use a weapon, though, so I'm not sure it'd be worth it. I don't want to emulate for you. But I can't tell what the stat upgrade would be for you, so I'm not actually sure. Hold on. Oh, okay. So that is a huge upgrade. That is an enormous upgrade. The gun spear would be for killing it. I don't know why they're still giving us killing weapons. Dojigiri for you, which is, again, a huge upgrade. Okay, but we can't afford to buy all these weapons. These are all fantastic upgrades. We just can't do it. How about... Can we upgrade the armor? It really seems like like the golden breastplate would be great to update. We can't. We need two more skulls. Really need four more skulls for the or really like five more skulls for the for both those upgrades. Okay. I don't know where the ancient skulls are, but they've got to be around somewhere. Seems like one more. Yeah, there's uh, that up there, the olden book. Humans. <laughs> okay then. He must uh he must not have been in the meeting. He was not briefed. He was very scared. I guess we're done. Okay, let's go back to you. Do you want to turn your chambers for the night? Yeah, I think we're done. Let's go. Do I understand correctly? You want to open more churches and have free passage throughout the Bondus, is that right? Indeed, Your Highness. And all this just to find the tomb of Lady Arena? This is correct, Your Highness. I appreciate you asking for my permission first. Of course, this church has manners. Say, Lord Zacchaeus, I have another question before that. How is the construction of Wernshire progressing? I'm sorry, you call it New Wernshire. Currently, every resident has a roof over their head. That's quite the accomplishment. It is very generous of you to help the people. You even hold services so that every resident can show your god their gratitude. They are very grateful to our lord, that is true. And all the levies I raise, you pay on their behalf, don't you? Well, yes. Hmm, there's one thing I still don't quite understand. After you built an entire city on Volandus, drawn the citizens into your debt, and made your faith appealing to them, you come to me and ask if you may travel through the country? After you've taken the citizens into protection from my levies, you ask me if you may open more churches. Is it not rather a strange order? Well, and these are the matters you spoke of? Your Highness. Silence, you are mocking me. Never will any one of you be allowed to travel through this land or even build another single wall. No, the time of the church on Melandus is over. Every priest, every member of this church of yours, every believer, you are all hereby banished. But, but, now go. I mean, from its perspective, it is kind of a soft invasion. Impudent vermin. Tell me, Gustin, why am I being deceived by everyone? Why do they joke with me? They're only thinking about their own agenda. Don't let their greed get to you, Your Highness. Excuse me, Your Highness. Oh, he stuck around, huh? 
I really can't steal a moment's peace, can I? Allow me to speak. I must warn you. Pray make it quick. The church expected your answer to his plea. So, their impudence knows no end. However, the church must find the grave. There is nothing more important. That is why Marilla is already on course for Berlandis. The church capital? Marilla heads for Berlandis? Is the church trying to threaten us? Let them dare. We have the power of gods. Marilla will reach the east coast of Berlandis in three days. They have fully mobilized. Is that so? You have my gratitude, and you shall have a reward for your honesty. But why the warning? I have a lot in common with Volandis, and that's why I wanted to predict it, in my own way. I don't need any reward. So be it. Send scouts to confirm this information, Gaston. I don't trust this young man, him being so generous with vital information. On my way, your highness. I mean, wouldn't they see that as suspicious? That Killian's not with them? Pa, outrageous. I thought it was possible to talk to the king. Also, Princess Celestia has escaped. Our tasks fail one after another. But His Excellency had already expected it in his wisdom. Marla will impose our will on them. One does not meddle with the church. And where's Killian gone off to? Ah, oh, look. Why, that's... That's what succeeded in our last request after all. Lords of the Church, I presume. How may I be of service? Sir Gwaine, what pure serendipity to meet you here. Or should we call you Nell Kilber, former monk of Kindred Monastery? Now, Kilber is a name I haven't heard in a long time. It brings back memories. So, is it really you? Oh no, I am the King's humble advisor. My name is Gwaine, and I've always been called that. Please don't talk with this. We have reason, you have reason for your secrets, but please tell us where to find the tomb. You do know, don't you? The tomb of the Lady Rena, you mean, eh? I'm sorry, how would I, a simple advisor, know such a thing? Sir Gawain, this tomb is very important for us. I don't know where Lady T Rena's tomb is. I am not the Monk Nell Kilber. You don't know where Lady Rena's tomb is, and you're not the Monk Nell Wow, simple mind trick, huh? Okay, then. Or Zacchaeus? Something you miss? Let's go, Sir Raphael. He doesn't know where Lady Nerinus Crave is, and he's not now killed her. What, what is this witchcraft? Same goes for you. Ah, oh, my head. You trying to oppose your will on me? My dear Raphael, nope. Don't waste any more time, would you? He changed into the Pope? Your task in torment is done. Come back to Marilla. I am awaiting you. Your Excellency, I, I will leave at once. What are you doing? You, what is the meaning of this? Another one. Hear me, lad, you will not get any information out of me. Leave with both of them. What evil magic is at work here? How surprising. You stand unaffected, hmm? Stop it! Stop what? You leave. Now! Ah, oh, well, Killian resisted it, but he couldn't hold up, hold fast. Oh no, there we go. Totally did it. Wow. Way to go, Killian. I didn't think he had it in him. Damn you, you provoked this upon yourself! Sir Raphael, Sir Zacchaeus, can you hear me? I'll be back to the senses in a moment. You, you stand? How? Teleportation. I think you and I need to know each other a little better. Okay, then. And back at the village. What should we do now? An oath seems to be the most important thing to Sova. It will never make an exception let us travel through Shambhala. Ah, the church won't allow it either. And yet here we are. If any Sovaman tries to stop us, I'll just punch him in the face. Boy, the king makes such the racket when he comes through. Must be like a door above or something that opens up as well. Hope you slept well. So I have good news for you. We may continue your journey. We may? 
But why? I mean, well, we don't mind, but I've consulted with the builders, and since you're here anyway, we'll make things an exception. Our mission has already failed, so it doesn't make any difference anymore. And we don't want the Sovas to be known as an unfriendly people. Is that so? How unexpected. Egil and Mato will accompany you. Thank you. We wish you success in your journey. Okay, well that was easy. They changed their minds pretty quickly. It's obvious they had their true reasons, but what can we do? Let's follow them for now. If something is amiss, we can leave them behind. Fine with me. Whether I smack them now or later makes no difference to me. Hello, friends! Mato is my name. I hope I can be a service. I can't fight like Eggle, nor am I as smart as a chief. Furthermore, I'm quite easily scared, and I can't really walk it long distances. To be honest, I'm already out of breath speaking with you. But, I'm actually... I forgot what I wanted to say. The reason you can help us? Ah, yeah, I can't fight like Eggle, nor am I as smart as... Just spit it out what you can do. Oh, sure. No one knows this place better than I do. I've got a lot of maps in my room. Which I seldom leave, but because I can't really walk long distances. To be honest, I'm already out. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's an honorable honor to fight among humans again. Or Hyams again. Nothing can break this shield or armor. I can deflect any target. Attack, targeted you. Are you sure? My katana can cut quite well. Wait, wait, wait. Are you an enemy? Actually, she was just teasing you. What do you meaningly mean? Speak, woman! Now get yourself together, Ego. But, but, Mato, you told us the Hyams love to use this sarcasm. Ah. So that's what it was. I'm not sure you... Now, now, let's go. Mato, please lead the way. Sure thing, I'm not very fast, though. Also, I can't fight like Ego, nor... Now go, I really will use my... You use what? Forget it. Let's go. Follow me, please. Sanctuary is to the west. Since you can't fly, you'll have to take some detours. You mentioned having sky armors, right? So we need to shut down the ace axe for a short time so that you can fly to the sanctuary with your mechanical wings. I'll show you the way. Oh, so that's why we couldn't use sky armor. I didn't realize they had ace axe. Okay, well, it's supposed to be to the west, and I totally went the wrong direction. We do have some skills, apparently. Why do we have new skills? Oh, he actually joined us. Oh, cool. Okay, great. I could totally use another party member. Okay, so raises hate on all enemies. So basically that means we can... Well, see... We have that supposedly on this guy. Raises chance to be attacked by an enemy. But this raises hate on all enemies. So basically he can be this target. Well, if he gets his defense up... So, okay, let's get his defense up so we can actually, you know, tank the hits. Tank the hits. And then you can do... Okay, so he already has attention. Try for all turns and first aid. Okay, get first aid on yourself. That's damn damn sure. SOS defense up will be good too. But if he's going to raise the hate on everything, then he's going to need all the help he can possibly get. I don't know if mine's going to be good for him. Well, I guess, no, mine's will be good because he got first aid. And mine's good for any healing. So, by raising the mind, it'll be more likely to be able to get... I mean, it's going to fully restore HP, so really we just need more tech points. Load the gun spear. Physical attacks deal more damage. You don't really have much in the way of any attacks. Alright, get, get the mind up for 10%. And shield ally as well, which is great. Unload all. Deals physical damage. Take damage for the target for two turns, mitigate it by 15%. I guess getting all the resistances is probably a good idea. We have seven more points, so I get, get all the resistances, and then, I guess, more HP and defense, I guess? So, sure, get all the resistances. Okay, then get defense up. And then health points up. And I guess for the last one... Lower their attack by 20% for 3 turns is pretty good. 
Yeah, I guess disarm them, sure. Okay, that's all the skills we can possibly do. So what do we do about the formation then? That's a very, very good question. So it seems like we're still gonna need Vector. I kind of feel like with Disarm, that kind of takes the place of Glenn. So I think we can trade... That's not what I want to do. Trade Amalia for Eggle. But Amalia and Victor should probably be able to work side by side. So maybe we trade Amalia and Rob, maybe? Kind of weird, but maybe. We definitely don't want Rob and Sienna together, because Rob does paralyze and Sienna does the attack that does more damage against people who are paralyzed. Yeah, I guess this works. Uh, we have a lot of SP on Ego right now. We should probably go ahead and try to spend some of that. Try to get him back up where he needs to be. So let's uh, learn skills. No, set skills. Set skills. Okay, so for Ego. Uh, let's see. Okay, so basically lowers the TP cost for raising hate on all, all enemies. So sure, I'll do that. So level up. 45, so we can't do that again. I think probably level up this so it uses less TP as well. Okay, then they're basically done. Yeah, basically done. I mean, I guess we could... No, we can't even shield ally. Can't do it. Okay, what about your SP? No. Trouble is, I mean, we could get the attack up here, but not much. Most of these are basically about done. Uh, poison shot's maxed out. Actually, paralyzed shot. Oh, we can't do paralyzed shot yet. Okay. 221 for you. We do power pierce up, I guess. But really, arms break would be better. We can't do that yet, though. Armor break, I guess? Um, it would be at level 3, by 20% for 5 turns, so better than Eggles, really. So sure, I'll do that. Cleanse is finally maxed out. Uh, what's your passive here? Safe TP would be good, 15% chance, I'll take it. And that's probably all we can really, really do. We could upgrade Fire Jump if we really wanted to, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, this is basically on the verge. Let's just go ahead and upgrade all these. I'll spend the extra little bit of TP. Not really too much of a worry. Okay, we can't do anything with those. Those are on the way out. Um, get our attack up, which is good. Okay. Definitely get your mind up. Oops, not what I'm to do. Get your mind up. On both of those, right? Yeah, get the mind up. Um, healing him is the HP regen. We want to... Oh, okay, heal all's already maxed. I haven't really done any healing him, which is probably why this is only level 1. That's basically it. Uh, heal all is 363, 393, rather we can't do that at all. I guess we're just stuck. Okay, that's fine. We do defensive. Actually, her defense is terrible right now, so yes, please. Every little bit could possibly help. Alright. Okay, so new party member. Fantastic. Uh, we can't leave. I guess I can just grab this again. One single coffee bean. Some random feather. Probably somebody lost. So I guess now we can leave the village. Oh, we'll grab this item really quick. So I guess I can jump over here. Does that mean any good? I can jump down this way. Grab that. Okay, we got the collectibles. That's great. Um, can I actually... Okay, hate. Enemy targets are not entirely chosen at random. Every action a character performs draws the enemy's hate on that character more and more. A character with the highest hate has the greatest chance of being targeted. Ego is a physical tank. He can take much more physical damage than other characters due to having more HP and having a higher defense. Ego learns skills allow him to draw the enemy's attack on himself. Right, so the attention skill, all the enemies will hate Eggle the most. The chance for him to be targeted is therefore higher, but not guaranteed. Luring Bang. Every enemy who uses a single target attack will attack Eggle. 
cover. I will choose the party member and will take any physical damage for them. Okay, so we can... Okay, interesting. Oh, so now... So we want to trade so that... Eggle's probably going to be in front. So he'll be first, and then we swap out to Glenn occasionally. I guess. Okay, we'll try this. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so he has Shell Shield. Buffing himself, basically. We'll definitely Valor Minuet, because we need to get a TP regen here. Could ult. Yeah, actually, let's go to Nult. TP regen and HP regen. So basically, this is a way for us to test out Eggle's abilities. So let's go ahead and cleanse. Now get rid of your buffs. Okay. Then we attention. Okay, so he's basically higher chance to attack you. And then Metal Dagger's on you right now. Your strength is against Dark, so no using Dark weapons. Okay, so he's gonna hit Eggle most likely. Um, good trade. Uh, see, trading to Amalia doesn't help me out. I guess just wins. Okay, so we probably want to trade to Amalia in order to make sure Eggle's healed. Because our healing all is not going to be as helpful. Yeah. Okay. So let's trade you out. Get the poison shot on. He's gonna hit Eggle again. Wow! Okay! That sucks. Because I didn't heal him. It's my bad. My bad. Uh, Rob's here, which I guess we need to trade over. And heal all. And then Winthrust. So I feel right now like we're not gonna be able to handle Eggle here, or handle without Eggle. Whoa! So many fucking Christmas. The one-shot KO is just ridiculous. The heal's not gonna matter though, because he's gonna just smack us until we're dead. Okay, so go ahead and summon. Do we know how much health he has? No, way too much, apparently. Okay, so I mean trade, but I don't know if it matters at this point. I couldn't read exactly how much health he has, it was right above him, but. He's got the defense up, which doesn't help us at all. I feel like we're close, but yeah, he's got too much defense. Petal Storm is active, though. We're gonna try it. Yeah, just too much defense. Can't do it. It's getting close, though. We are really close there. Okay, so we need to heal Eggle on the regular. Maybe the formation needs to change out here, then. Let's see what we can do with the formation. So maybe we do want Amalia and uh, Victor on the same path there. So, okay, so let's get Amalia here. So we can trade out the type of healing we do, I guess. Len and Rob, I guess. We don't want Sienna with Rob because Rob's got the Paralyze. So I guess we'll try this out. Okay, let's see how this goes. He's gonna buff himself first. If that's okay, we can instantly get rid of that buff. Okay, then you go ahead and a dagger. And uh, we might as well go ahead and buff, or do we. I guess we can do Poetic March first. We definitely need the offense. Okay, then you draw attention. So he didn't seem to matter at all. Okay, so... We trade. Let's trade to Rob. And Poison Shot. Okay, that did draw his attention. So we got two hits on us, so heal all. Then my dagger again. I think maybe do disarm here so we can lower his attacks. Oh, he did not like Rob there at all. That's awaken Rob. 
Don't know how well that's gonna work for us. We'll try it. Uh, like Claymore. Okay, he's weak against light. So that's good. Okay, you got first aid. We don't need it now. I think you go ahead and do attention. Make sure he keeps on attacking. Oh, though we went for Bethras. Yeah, see, the, the hate doesn't actually work. I would like it to work, but it doesn't. Okay, do Paralyze Shot here. No, never mind. Sienna can't get up because we don't have Oh, maybe we can do it later, though. Okay, go ahead and Paralyze. Alright, it seemed to work. Go ahead and Awaken Bethras. You go ahead and call attention to yourself. Okay, he should be paralyzed, though, right? Okay, so change over to Len. And really, I mean, he doesn't have anything on him, so I think just any damage will do. Okay, now he's paralyzed, so now go ahead and heal. Okay. Maybe go ahead and trade out. Yeah, because she has full health. Okay, so make him bleed. Good crits, good crits. Keep calling for attention. Um, yeah, I mean, we could probably poison him. Yeah, go ahead and trade out. I'm a little worried what's going to happen to Rob here, but go ahead and poison. We need the we need damage over time. Okay, good. Hit him, that's fantastic. And I think go ahead and kiss a Yuri. Okay, definitely heal all, because Rob's hurt and Eagle's hurt. Better. Okay, Shell Shield, we need to get rid of that. That'd be switch out Rob. And cleanse. Okay, we do not have Petal Storm, so I think just go ahead. Oh, actually, we have the Ultra. We could Ultra and do, like, almost a thousand damage, I think. Oh, he's also really close to death. I think go ahead and do the ult. What the hell? What the hell? Do it. There we go. Got a tortoise shield and everything. Okay. Yeah, the hate is not guaranteed. What is guaranteed is whenever we do the, uh... The other attacks that I didn't grab. So we need to get more SP in order to get those. Or actually, we need Grimoire to get those. Alright. Well, we're going to have to... Yeah, I can't move over to our Sky Armor either until we disable the... But he said to the West, didn't he? Well, let's go to the Journal. Carrot and his gang are back. Oh, we need to go back there. Okay. Uh, deactivate two ether guns. Okay, so they're just somewhere in the Sky Islands here. Okay, so as we go, we'll pick them up. Alright. Well, for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Chain Deco's on Peace Universe here. Peace Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.